Hey guys, JMM Review here and um, welcome to the first in a series of videos um, I'm going to look at 7 Days to Die on the Xbox One. I got this game uh, pretty much whenever it just came out and I've been playing it on and off and I've really enjoyed what I've played. I thought it was a little buggy at first but the more I played it and uh, started to get to grips with how to play it um, I found it wasn't too bad at all. In this video I'm going to talk about something that I don't think is covered enough um, in the kind of tutorials and videos people make on this and that's where to build your base. I found whenever I first played this it just threw me into the game, um, in fact it actually threw me into the same biome I'm in right now which is the burnt forest and uh, I kind of didn't really know where to go I guess and just kind of stayed close to the, there's a first house, there'll always be a house that it spawns you close to. Um, and really it's best to get away from this house and start to build your base as soon as possible. But um, the problem is whenever you build your base is you can't exactly just pick it up and move it. Once you have it built you're pretty well stuck to that location. So it's really important to decide on a location to get the most out of the sort of surroundings and stuff. And there's some of the biomes I would just outright tell you just to stay clear of. And actually the first time I played it was the Burnt Forest and as is this playthrough I'm starting off there as well. And there's all these charred embers all over the floor and stuff like that. And um, the heat map in this game is insane, like you'll burn up pretty soon and I kept dying over and over again and, and overheating. And I didn't realise it but actually it's because of this particular biome, it's just it's basically like a desert or as bad as the desert in the game. Which I would also avoid, um, advise you to avoid. But there's a few other things uh, other than the biomes as well to take into consideration and um, on my first playthrough I just didn't, it kind of bugged me whenever I was playing it because I knew where I built would have been important because I couldn't really move my base and but at the same time I didn't have any idea, I mean I, I just pretty well blind played the game, didn't look up too much before I started playing and I didn't have a map, I, I think it would be cool if the, the game included a map uh, a bit like GTA does. But it just leaves you to find these things out, which is also quite nice as well, I guess. And speaking of maps, um, I will give you access to... I have three maps that are very good, and I really recommend you download these if you're considering um, playing the game and uh, you don't know your way around and stuff like that. These are really good maps to... Uh, just as a reference point more than anything. Um, I'm going to post these up on uh, Golden Age Gaming. I'll put a little article in there along with this video and uh, basically I'll just allow you, you can just like right click and save these um, images right on your desktop or on your phone. I think it's really handy to actually have a copy on your phone. So wife 3 maps. So um, what I'm going to include is first of all this is um, I think one of my favourite maps to use just to, to really to show you the terrain more than anything. You can zoom way in on this map and uh, although it looks pixelated these each little individual pixel actually really represents something. So for example, if I was to zoom way, way in, um, you can see there's these little um, black marks. If you see these little black marks, it's more than likely going to be coal. On, on your in-game map, if you see these little black marks, go to them and dig up coal. I'll show you an example right here um, of some footage I got some coal. Uh, whenever I just started playing the game, actually, um, I walked into the kind of snow biome. And it, this map, in, in the actual in-game map, is in real time. So um, if you um, dig that coal up, it disappears off the map. And as well as that, if you build your base, your base will show up on your map. I think that's really cool. So yeah, I think this map here is like, it's the highest res, and it's like you can zoom way, way in. And it gives you a brilliant idea of the surroundings and the typography of the map and stuff. I would recommend, if you're building your base and you're sort of, it's anywhere near sizable, I would recommend you find a flat area to build on because if you build on a bumpy area or like a hilly area um, the zombies will actually dig under the hill but if you build on a flat area um, they can't really dig under the ground. So the next map is the exact same map um, but a slightly different file format so it's not as big but what it has um, is some place names and all of the kind of landmarks you'll want to know. So for example there's the, the bookstore, crack a book, um, PlayStation, army camps, you know, all the towns, everything's labelled out there. In fact, you can pretty well zoom in on the towns and it'll tell you where the there's gun shops in the towns, if there's some in there. Or... 
yeah the uh, shotgun messiah is uh, the gun shops there's a few in the game so this pretty well just um highlights all the key areas or most of the key areas and using this map i basically whenever i whenever i was deciding right where i want to build my base i looked at this part of the map this um and styled it right I want to be near a, sh uh, a gun shop, I want to be near a police station, I want to be near, near a small town, you know, um, all these things. So this is why I just, like, I studied this map for about 20 minutes just deciding where I want. And then obviously using the other map, I decided, right, where's a flat place? And then um, I actually basically used um, my first playthrough, I just used as a, like, building some test uh, bases, but also I used it as, like, a scouting... Um, play through and just like scout out areas and like decide at what would what would be a good area to, to be in finally the last map is um it's actually a much smaller more condensed version and it's from an older build i think it's, it says in the bottom of alpha 8.7 so it just has a few more places and it's it's just laid out slightly differently and um, some people might find this one helpful especially if uh, their base is in this area it denotes the um different biomes quite well and I just thought I'd include it because it might be a little bit easier for you to read. On the different biomes, I would say don't build, obviously, on the burnt forest. It's just a no-go zone. I even avoid wandering into it because you just will overheat very quickly. The forest I had some success with. Um, I built my first base there and it's perfectly fine. There's plenty of wood all around you. Um, I would recommend you build close to the river or there's like lots of little lakes all over the place. Um, because you want to get like access to water essentially you just have to boil any water down so you don't get like dysentery and stuff like that the snowy parts um, I would actually recommend not building on there but that's just probably personal taste there is a shotgun um, or like a, a gun store right at the start of it so I tend to raid it if I'm going on raids but it's right at the start I just get in there do what I have to do and get out again I don't like spending too much time in there because it's really cold and the enemies in there are actually harder. There's these big lumberjack guys that are pretty tough. And uh, one of the advantages of the snow area is that you can melt down uh, the snow and uh, you can drink that. But, I mean, honestly, it's not a huge advantage because, I mean, there, there, there's a river that runs through the entire map, basically. So you're never too far away from a water source and all you have to do is boil it down and you're fine. The wasteland I just didn't spend much time in. I felt it was a, a kind of a cold place and a little... I don't know, dull looking or something. It has the biggest city in the game, um, but I just t I tend not to go down that area. The section of the map I chose was right at the top. There were two standout flat locations. One is over here, which was, has like some high value properties around it. I went in there as a like recon, and it was swarming with zombies. I was like, I can't even clear this place out. There was I think about fifteen. And they all just swarmed me. Like, I couldn't even get into one of the buildings. Um, so I just kind of knocked that one in the head. I wanted to build there because I was like, I want to build in the forest. but um, And it was kind of central to the, in the map as well. But I settled for the plains instead. Um, and this really, really long uh, or large flat open space. Um, it's perfect for building, I think. And not only that, but it's like right around the corner from a reasonably sized town that you'd spend days upon days um, just scavenging in there um, but not only the town there's um, an army barracks quite close by which usually has some good stuff there's a police station which is huge uh, a school which is quite big as well I oh, know actually the police station isn't that big but it has uh, some guns and stuff the school is huge like you could scavenge in it for a whole day basically you could spend a whole in-game day in there and then, like I said, Shotgun Messiah is just up there in the snowy part. Um, and more importantly, again, uh, Crack a Book. The bookstore is right down there. There's also a bookstore in town. Um, books are really important in this game because uh, you can't craft certain things unless you have books. Um, and speaking about crafting, this is another thing that you really need to think about when you um, are planning on where to build. I said you should build near water. Um, what's also really important is there's some pre-made forges. Now, if you can find one of these in a house, you should really, really consider building near that house. Um, I haven't obviously looked in all the houses, but of the three houses um, I was close to, I know that there was a forge. Um, in probably three out of the six houses I checked, there was a forge. 
So just to show you my first playthrough, um, I was just really lucky. Um, my first ever playthrough of the house I went near to, um, it had a forge in, and I just thought, well, I'll stay around here. But I was just lucky to actually find it. The first, the very first house I, I spawned near didn't. But the next one I, I eventually went to, I had one. So I was like, all right, I'll just make this place my home. Um, it was near the the river. It was like right beside the river. And I thought, wow, this is great because um, that's essentially like a moat. Like the zombies aren't going to get me through here, right? Uh, but I couldn't have been more wrong. The zombies just walk on through the water. It just doesn't phase them. And I just love that. I think that's fantastic. I, I Zombies shouldn't really need to breathe because they're, they're dead. Um, and, and I think that's really good that this game sticks to that rule. I think the zombies in general in this game are very good, um, if not a little buggy, but again, that's just the kind of the graphics of the game. So yeah, building near a forge is not essential, but it'll be such a big help because it does take a long time before you can actually start making your own forges. Oh, actually, there's a few things I want to mention about the planes. Um, when I first got here, the area, um, I overheat it. There's like a slightly overheating element it's not as bad as the desert or the burnt forest um but I, I first got here and i was like yeah i love this area it's like so like the land is so flat in this part and i just really want to build here and i'm near a forge and like i'm near the water near the forest this is perfect it's everything's within arm's reach but then i started building my first like kind of test base and i started overheating and i was like oh not this again like i've just went through all this um, but basically all you have to do is craft a, it's kind of like a cowboy um, hat, but you basically just need to use scrub and there's scrub all over the place. You just punch grass and that's all you need. Um, also, if you pick up sunglasses, um, they're really, sunglasses are really easy to find. So if you put on um, the hat um, and the sunglasses, you'll not overheat. So that basically cancels that out. What you gain, that's like a small negative about this area. What you actually gain is the area is covered in cactuses all over the place which is kind of a hazard because if you walk into them it hurts you but these cactus once you break them up you can eat them and it does good things for um whenever you're hungry actually it sort of you know because they're so plentiful you can just survive on cactus if you want to also corn is really abundant in the plains it just grows all over the place and um, you can pick it all up farm it eat it um, turn it into recipes for for even better uh, stamina and you know, it'll fill your hunger meter up. I f actually find the plains is one of the easiest places to live in as long as you have a hat on. And uh, venison, like you can, deer just roam free the same as they do in the forest uh, and other parts of the game. But because you're in the plains and the, the trees, there's not like a big tree line or anything, I find them easier to hunt and easier to see from a distance. Um, there's, you know, and again, because it's like a flat land, it's easier to see the um, little bird's nest. You can get eggs from there. And clay is just as abundant, actually. I was expecting there not to be much clay about, um, but it's all over the place. So um, clay, there's sand down at the, the riverbank, just like anywhere else. Um, so yeah, for getting resources and stuff like that, I just highly recommend the plains. So anyway, this was just a quick overview. Um, I hope this helped uh, make you understand a little bit more about the thought process that goes into deciding where to actually build your first base. My next video in this series is all about collecting resources for your first base. As always, thanks for checking out this video. My next upload in this series should be pretty soon. So um, if you haven't already subscribed, then do that so you don't miss out. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do this by clicking on the P button. I would really appreciate any help at all. Also, I'm still in the process of making this series, so if there's anything that you'd like me to show off more, um, please feel free to leave comments and I'll try and fit that into the next episodes.